Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and this is a video about sleeping in a van for the very first time. Now, you'll have to excuse the bad lighting. Um, that is because I'm trying to be as discreet as possible because I have parked in um, a road, a domestic road, a residential street. Um, there's houses obviously either side and it's actually quite late, it's about half past eleven and I've had to blank out the the window behind me at the moment with a temporary solution which I'm going to f make much better and that is a black towel on a piece of string above um, so just you'll have to accept the poor lighting quality of this I've got two lights in here one that lights this cabin I can put these lights on but not manually the only way to do that is to open the door. Um, I'll do that but they will turn off so just bear with me one second. So the lights are on now. I'm going to turn this one off just for a second so that I don't um, over, over, well, overexpose the camera. Um, they will go off in a minute. I'm going to turn, I'm going to give it a, a lock and put that one back on. So uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a, <laughs> that was a bit of a strange thing. So I have to be careful, I've got to unlock the car before I can open the door. Um, now hopefully no neighbours are going to come out. I'm going to move up into the bunk next um, and just have a bit of a pause because I may have woken a few people up. This is not the easiest of things to do in the dark. In the daytime when I'm not worried but there's a few things I want to show you, so I'm hoping I'm not overly exposed. So, I've got here, I have actually got a um, sleeping bag. Um, I feel like the light is a bit too bright. I'm just going to adjust the camera, which is right on the other side, so just bear with me. It just gives you an idea of what one has to try and do. Uh, I'm gonna do that. That's a bit better. Right. Ooh. Okay. So, I'm in the bunk, well I'm partially in the bunk, and I shall get into the, into the sleeping bag in a minute. But, um, I just wanted to show you a few things. So I've got myself a washing up bowl so that I can actually wash, which um, I will do down in the main cabin as it were. I've got some toothpaste, you can't really see that very well. Some toothpaste, which will be kept in the van. A new toothbrush, which will be kept in the van. Some soap that actually the lovely Julia gave me some a while ago. Very nice. I'll keep that in the van. And uh, I have down there. Um, I've, let's move that for a minute. I'm going to get myself sorted. So this is all just a bit vague. I have a five litre bottle of water, which I got from the supermarket. And the idea of that is that's my main drinking water for tea and coffee and if I want to splash it over my face and have a wash or whatever I've got that which I just for the moment I've got down there which is now on the ground and I was going to show you I've got a flask I'll, <laughs> I'll show you that another time the other thing I've got 
is a bottle, a separate bottle of water I'm doing my teeth with. I just wanted something a little bit easier just to do, clean my teeth with. Um, what I could do with is probably a, another bottle or the same bottle for uh, in the night if I just want to have a, a drink. Anyway, I don't do any, any more because I'm probably waking all the neighbours up. So I'm going to settle down for the night and I will report back in the morning. See how we do. So I'll say good night for now and I'll see you in the morning. Night night. It's about half past three or ten past three I think in the night. As you can see I'm snuggled up in the sleeping bag and I am Oh, my blanket's gone, actually my blanket has gone all over the place, on the bunk, I don't know how much you can see down there. I have a few more hours to go, the clocks went back last night, I didn't realise I get an extra hour in bed, I didn't expect that. Anyway, it's all going very well. I'm going to go back to sleep and uh, I've used the facilities <laughs> um, in the night and it's uh, it's proving very, very effective. Anyway, I will report more in the morning. There's that light. It's the next day. Hello. <laughs> well, I survived the night, ladies and gentlemen. I survived the night. Um, I probably look a bit knackered. I did sleep. We put the clocks back last night. Um, I only realised that when I arrived at Mr. Suggett's. So Mr. Suggett's is just the other side of, of there in an undisclosed location. Another undisclosed location. Very nice, um, uh, Mr. Suggett. Um, and I slept through to about just, I suppose, 20 to six, twenty to 7. So I went over to Mr. Suggett's last night, had a cup of tea and all of that. And you've just seen me um, muck about, set the alarms off, um, cursed when the alarms went off. Uh, the, the night was wet and windy. Um, and it was quite successful really. Uh, I've learnt a lot. The sleeping bag that I was in, I need to get a bigger one. Or I think what I'm going to do is use the duvet. I've got a spare duvet, so I'm going to do that. Um, my coffee, I've had a cup of coffee and recorded my Naked Englishman podcast that I do for my patrons who support me financially. Um, and I made a cup of coffee and um, last night in a flask at Mr. Suggett's. Uh, and it was nice and warm, lovely and warm. So that's been um, very successful because I thought that's what I might do last thing at night is make a, a hot coffee, put it in a flask. Then if I wake up and want one in the night, I can have one. Or in the morning, it was, you know, six, seven hours later, it's still warm, still hot, not just warm, but hot, drinkable, um, very drinkable. So I might do that. It saves then having to uh, make a drink first thing in the morning. Um, I, I've got one ready. And then if I want to cook up some breakfast or whatever, um, I, I mean, I probably just have a cereal, really. Um, I can't do any toast. So that way I don't have to get the cooking facilities out first thing in the morning. I can sort myself out and go off and, and do something. And then I can have uh, a mid-morning breakfast, perhaps, and cook something in the back. So that's been very successful. Um, comfort wise, yes, it's comfortable. Uh, I think because obviously a lot depends on the ground that you park the vehicle on. That gives you how straight the vehicle is. So on this occasion, I felt because it's there's a slight camber on Richard's Road, there was this slight camber in the bed. It's not like in a caravan where you can chock it up completely straight, but that's OK. I don't mind that. Um, 
that, yeah, so duvet was the main thing. Um, I wasn't cold. I did sleep in my clothes. Now, talking of clothes, you may have met, remember in the previous video when I was cooking soup for the lovely Julia, I uh, had a beautiful new jumper, a uh, mustard coloured jumper. I hope you liked it. And I need to thank Mary Hammond because I promised that I would wear the burgundy one. And I put that on this morning. I didn't have it on last night. I just had uh, my commercial bought purple one. But I've just changed into this so that you could see it because I forgot to do it last night. But I didn't want to sleep in it. It's, it's so nice. I didn't really want to sleep in it, although it would have been extra warm. So this, I have learned a lot of lessons and I'm glad I've done this little trial run. Um, today is Sunday as I record. Uh, I have no intention of sleeping in the van. I've just got to get the van back at the, in, the, in the appropriate place and prepare for my trip. I need to just see what the weather is doing and prepare all the bits that I need. So I hope it's been interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. And can I thank the recent uh, people who've been donating to help me uh, buy the necessary additions that I now need. I really appreciate that and we will see some more adventures. And please rest assured, it's not all going to be about the van. It will, I will get out and about. Uh, it's just at the moment, as I explained before, there's a lot of things I need to do and it's taking up my time. And because of that, I'm making videos about it. So for a while, just bear with me and we will get back out. Plus the weather has been pretty rubbish, so I wouldn't have gone anywhere anyway. So I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.